Glock has filed a patent infringement lawsuit against Polymer 80, and this could be big. Uh, guys and gals, I want to thank the sponsor of the video. That's us over at Blackout Coffee. As you know, I am one of the members, one of the members, one of the owners, I've been a member of them for a while. Uh, I need this one this morning. We make the best coffees, teas, and hot chocolates. We have a lot of swag. You can check us out at blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG. And with code GNG10, you can save 10% on your order forever. Always. Just use it. And uh, also, we are still live. Our campaign, our investment campaign, where you can become one of the owners of Blackout Coffee. It's almost over. It's almost reached its, its amount. And when it's gone, it's gone. So if you want a chance to join the team, the link is down below. And I thank you for your consideration. Let's get into this lawsuit between Glock and Polymer 80. This was filed uh, two days ago. I had the filing, I read it all, and uh, it's all over the what There's always somebody who says it different, but it's the slide lock lever, the slide release lever. You know what I'm talking about. Here's the patent that is in question. Going forward, you'll hear me reference this as the 222 patent, and the patent refers to it as the catch device for the breach of a pistol. And you can see that the reason it's being called a 222 patent is the actual patent number is US 9933222, and it was issued April 3rd of 2018. And this was their change they made for the Glock 43, the Glock 43X, and the 48. Now this lawsuit is 16 pages, it's not a very long read, but what it does is it goes over in detail how Polymer 80 is including an, an item, the accused item, in their kits and full uh, firearms and, and, and they're telling their employees and their dealers and customers to use this infringing item when building their kits. Specifically, the single stack kits that are pretty much clones for the 43, 43X, and, 43, and the 48. Now this could be very damaging to Polymer 80 if a judge were to decide with Glock, to side with Glock, saying that Pat Polymer 80 is infringing on their patent for their uh, their 222 patent, the slide lock lever, or the breech locking device. And uh, it's, I mean, if you just read the lawsuit, of course, it's from Glock's point of view. It's pretty solid, assuming that the judge agrees with them. Now, here's what Glock is looking for from the judge. This is from read directly from the lawsuit, the prayer for relief. It says, wherefore, Glock praise that this court enter judgment in favor of Glock and against Polymer 80 as follows. A. Entry of judgment that Polymer 80 has indirectly infringed on the 222 patent pursuant to 35 U.S.C. 271B and or C. B. An order that Polymer 80 provide an accounting and pay to Glock damages in the amount adequate to compensate Glock for Polymer 80's infringement of the 222 patent including damages for lost profits, but in no event less than a reasonable royalty, including up to treble damages for willful infringement pursuant to 35 U.S.C. 284, and treble damages means triple damages. C, an order preliminary and permanently enjoining Polymer 80 and its respective agents, servants, officers, directors, employees, attorneys, affiliated companies, successor in interest, distributors, dealers, other reselling entity customers, and all those in active concert or participation with it, and all other parties properly enjoined by law from infringing directly or indirectly, inducing others to directly infringe and or contributing to the infringement of the claims of the 222 patent. D, an order that this is an exceptional case under 35 U.S.C. 285 meriting that Glock be awarded its costs, including its reasonable attorney's fees, and other expenses incurred in connection with this action, and E, any other relief that the court finds legal, just, and equitable as may be available under law or equity in which this court finds proper. Now, Glock's U.S. headquarters is in Smyrna, Georgia, and this was filed in the U.S. District Court in Nevada because that's where Polymer 80's headquarters is. And uh, I don't know where this lawsuit will go or for how long it'll be stretched out or if Polymer 80 will look to end it immediately by offering a settlement. But either way, this is pretty big news. You got a, a, a huge mammoth in the gun industry here, at, not just here in America, but globally. And you have Polymer 80, which is made by, maybe the best known kit manufacturer for those who are into the hobby uh, gun game. This could be good. I mean, Polymer 80 sells a lot of stuff, which means they've sold a lot of these infringing devices and Glock is looking to get theirs, their just due out of this. Let me know what you think down below. 
it's always weird when you see two industry uh, members go at each other and uh, let me know what you think about this one. Do you have a Polymer 80? Do you have one of these infringing devices? There's nothing wrong with us uh, having them. It's just that the fact that Polymer 80 was the one using them, distributing them, installing them, etc. So way to start out the day. Check out blackoutcoffee.com slash GNG if you want the best coffee. Don't believe it, just try me. And if you want to invest in the company, link is down below as well. Almost, uh, the campaign's almost done. And once it's done, it's done. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's what the Second Amendment is for. And the other side isn't big enough or bad enough to take it from us. Y'all have a great day.